Hello Trek Central, my name's Jarvis and I'm applying for the host role you have available on your channel. I am a very proud Star Trek nerd. Having grown up in the 90s on The Next Generation on BBC2, I fell in love with the world at a very young age. Its visionary storytelling, moral complexity and infinite possibilities have shaped my love for exploration and fueled my insatiable curiosity. Recently, the third season of Picard had me in tears almost every single episode. I couldn't get over the storytelling and the performances by the original cast, as well as the new addition of Jack, who, by the way, was excellent. Terry Metalis really understands what makes Trek Trek, and I can't wait to see what he's allowed to do in the future, with high hopes of that Seven of Nine and Jack series that we're all so desperate to see. Let's not also forget the level of excitement about Boimler and Mariner coming over to Strange New Worlds, because oh my word do I love Lower Decks, those characters mean so much to us in this household, and I can't wait to see them IRL in Strange New Worlds on the Enterprise. I just know how much Boimler is going to be freaking out inside about being on the Enterprise and being with that team. My level of hype is literally off the charts. While my hosting experience isn't directly related to Star Trek, as you can see, I am clearly very passionate about the universe. I do, however, have plenty of experience in hosting, presenting, and managing events in the games industry. It has helped sharpen my skills in engaging audiences, delivering captivating presentations, and maintaining a dynamic on-screen presence. I believe that my expertise in hosting, together with my unyielding love of Star Trek, together combine to make an immersive experience for the audience, hopefully resonating with them and igniting their passion for Star Trek even further. With this video showcase, I have put together a few clips of me hosting at different events, either online or in person, throughout the past few years. Whilst this is game industry footage, I believe that it showcases my talent as a presenter. And I am moving house very soon and will be having a custom built studio ready to record. So get ready to be transported to a new frontier and enjoy my combined hosting prowess and my unyielding love for Star Trek. If you don't know, EGX London is the UK's biggest gaming event. We had a fantastic time there and even got to show off Republic of Jungle on the main stage with some very special guests. We were joined by Twitch partners Nico Hart and Captain Badgertail, as well as What Culture Gaming legends Scott Tailford, Cy White, and the Southwest Savage himself, Jules Gill. We had a lot of fun demoing the game live, and we really appreciate everybody that turned up to support us. Hi, everyone. How are you all doing? Hey. I hope you've had a wonderful time at EGX so far. My name is Jarvis, and I work for Gurdu Games. I'm their marketing and community director. And we are making our very first game that's just about to go into its exclusive closed beta. And that's what we're doing here this week, is showing everybody the game. And we've got some very special guests to share it with. Hello, I'm Pepper, your paper-thin host from Paperverse. I'll be delivering the Paperverse Direct of 2022 directly to you. We at Paperverse love paper games, and this year we have so many games we'd like to show you. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name's Sadie, and this is episode 3 of Exploring Indies. Hollow Knight is a game lots of people know and love already, so it's easy to see why it made it onto our list of our favourite indie titles. The small team of mostly Aussie developers at Team Cherry zeroed in on what makes the best Metroidvania games. Precision tight controls, rewarding exploration, and changing abilities as the game progresses. On top of this typical formula, they added their own flair, an art style that is different and immediately recognisable as their own, a soundtrack that hits on the first plate and the hundredth, enemy and biome designs that are each so different yet perfectly coherent. In our opinion, Team Cherry deserve all the praise the world heaps on them. Remember to like this video if you enjoyed it, and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on episode 4. I love Discovery too. Tilly's great, Engine Edison's great. But uh, my favourite character is... Um... Sorry, I'm drawing it. Is Vegeta okay? Oh, don't make me cry, Vegeta. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. 
in a car on the street. Oh, I can't even save any car. Oh, Vegeta! Oh! <laughs> Don't cry for me, I should be Vegeta. Ooh. I can't believe that's made me cry. How embarrassing. Oh, he does love them! <laughs> oh man! Oh. oh no! I was not prepared for this! I was not prepared for this! <laughs> everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name's Jarvis and in December we took part in a charity event over on our Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash Games. And we thought our YouTube audience would get a giggle out of it. So I'm going to hand you over to past me to introduce the stream. Enjoy! Hello everybody and welcome to the Gerdu Games channel. However, a few leakers among the loyalists are trying to sabotage the team by leaking confidential information to Fiona Fox, a notorious reporter for the Jungle Broadcast Corporation. Who can you trust to join your commission? And how can you convince others that you're not a leaker? How to play Republic of Jungle. The game owner starts the game, a room code pops on the big screen, and all players join on their own device First, everyone is told which side they're on, loyalists or leakers. Loyalists have no idea who they can trust, who's a loyalist and who's a leaker. Thanks for watching my application. I truly hope you enjoyed it and I really can't wait to geek out with you about the Trek universe.